this is your old barrio, right, Johnson? Then you can be my tour guide. Me? But I quit the whole demon thing ages ago, and really, my memory's absolute rubbish. Oh, I'm sure it will come back to you in no time. Relax, amigo. This is going to be an adventure. Our very own road movie. And the best part is, you never know what's waiting around the bend. Won't be on this side of the door. All right, let's start this road movie with some road kill. That's right, G. Don't let all that peace and quiet push you around. Huh. Demons hear the name Garcia fucking Hotspur. They run the other way. Johnson, what the hell is that thing? Holy cow! I don't believe it! Willie! That's one-eyed William! Friend of yours? Are you kidding? William is my aunt's first husband's adopted son from the Ukraine. Then you are practically brothers. You can't see shit up ahead. The underworld be a shadowy place. Anyway, not a problem. Take a look over there. You see that lamp? Hanging on the wall? I can light that up for you. The light shot, of course. Give it a try, G. There. Did I brighten your day? What can I say, Johnson? You are the right tool for every job. So when do I get to light up some demons? I'm sure you'll have your chance. They hate my light shot. Leaves a nasty rash. Save up those white gems, G. These demons are not very talkative. What have they got to talk about? Once your soul rolls into town, that's it. You're damned. And Fleming doesn't let anybody off the hook. He sounds like a real dick. Tater. Johnson, why is there a goat head hanging on the wall? Oh, well, everybody knows that goats are a source of light. Right, of course. Poor Tyke. Most new arrivals in the underworld are condemned to guard doors like this for the first hundred years. Oh, we all have to start somewhere. Garcia? Huh? Paula? 
Come back! Hola! Easy, G. This place is full of deceptions and dirty tricks. Is that a floating... Strawberry! Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme! Oh, these things are like demon catnip when I was little. Johnson! Do I take this strawberry? Yes! Jeez, excuse me for having a little fruit fantasy. Don't you dare give my strawberry to that sprog on the door! No! Oh, gee, you fairy squanderer! <laughs> ah, drinks! At least there's one good thing about the underworld. What, liver damage? That's the beauty of it. In the underworld, you don't die from drinks. They unkill people here. Paula? Paula? Ah, que es esta mierda? Uh-oh, I was afraid of this. What? Why is it suddenly getting dark? This isn't ordinary darkness. If you stay in it too long, it'll suck the life out of you. Quick, use the light shot on the goat head. You can't stay in the darkness like this. It eats away the flesh of mortals. The goat head, hurry! How did you know shooting a goat would banish the darkness? How did you not know? Some demon hunter, I say. <sighs> Just warn me if I have to fuck a horse to unlock a door, huh? You? I can't see for shit. Ahem. If only there were some way to shed light on the situation. Don't mock me, bitch. Just use the light shot on that lamp. Sorry. <laughs> Themselves. It's what's for dinner. Madre, not again! And this time there's no goat to save us. <laughs> Quick, the door! Run through the door! <clears throat> oh, much better. No darkness and, dare I say it, no demons. Why won't this demon die? Don't waste ammo. The darkness is protecting it. Only the light shot can burn that protection away. Nice one, G. How'd you know to use the light shot on that demon? Goat head! Out the window! Garcia. That was 
with her when she picked out that lingerie. You? In a Victoria's Secret? Fucking kidding me! Keep running! There's no way to disperse darkness this thick! 